<laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I'm disappointed in you. Have I not told you to stop playing with stones? Mom, it's Chica. She started throwing stones at Ola. It's a lie, Mom. He started it first. And you joined him? Eh? Now you've gotten your younger sister wounded. Who behaves like you? And you? Are you not the eldest? Where were you when all this was happening? Yeah, I was. Shut I don't even want to hear that right now. I have other things on my mind. The landlord is throwing us out today. Mm, I see we're going to stay outside. Let's go. Chased you and the kids out of the house. You see, my sister, I pleaded with him, but he refused. This man is very wicked. Very wicked. He has tried. I've lived in this house for a year now and I've not paid a dime. He can't kill himself for me. I wish I was around when he came. Maybe I would have pleaded with him to allow you to stay for some time. He even gave me money that I used to take for treatment. Man, I was trying to So what are you going to do now? Where do you take these kids? You see, I don't know. I don't know. You know how it's been for me? I, I have no idea. I don't know what. But you can't sleep in the streets now, eh? I don't know. Maybe you would come stay with me for some time until my husband returns. Hey, Bisi! Bisi, thank you! Bisi, you've done so much. Bisi, thank you. Stop. Hey. It's not your fault. I mean, it wasn't your fault that your husband died at such a young age. It's well, my dear. Just pull yourself together, please. Thank you. You know what? Let me just fix a place so you can start breaking in your things. Just get to it, please. Huh? Oh. Yes, for the time being, until I can figure out a place for us to go to. But mom, why would Delilah throw us out like that? Mm, he was... He needs to renovate the house. And we can't be in there while work is going on. So do you mean we return to the house? Yes, soon. Or even to somewhere better. <laughs> mom, I'm hungry. Uh-uh. Didn't you eat something earlier in the day? Manage it though. You don't even ask mommy if mommy has eaten since morning. Anyway, I'll find something to do about that later. a friend of mine. I wanted to ask her if I could get bread or credit from her to feed the kids. Hey! Not while you are in my house. I just snuck out to get stuff for you and the kids. I forgot to drop the money, so I had to go get them myself. Ah, please, don't, don't even do that next time. Thank you so much. Please. God will embarrass you with blessings for helping a poor widow like me. It's okay. God will bless you too soonest, alright? Let me rush back before my boss starts looking for me. Okay? Um, 
I'll be going to see Sabina later in the day. Sabina? I thought you said you won't disturb her anymore. Anyway, let me rush. Just take care of yourself, okay? Oh, madam, she did not think you see me, you know they come here. He, and he won't put me for two hours. Eh? It's my sister around. Madam, even if your sister died around, he see me, I know they open this door for me. Uh, but she won't tell me like that now. She didn't tell me such. How, how she would tell you? Is it because you say you be your sister? That's why she will not tell you. But I beg not to let me tell you. But don't worry, I need to see her. It's urgent, please. Hey, what are you not understanding? They give me very, very slow, slow warning. I beg, come begin to go. I beg. Is her husband around? Two of them. Two of them are around. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No verse here. The landlord has kicked me and the children out of the house at last. Not even a greeting. Pardon my manners. Good afternoon, Richard. I'm sorry. If you mean you and the kids are homeless? Yes, please. We need your help. Okay, why not we... Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are late to a function. You have to come back later. Do you understand? Maybe next weekend will be fine. Please, Sabina, please. Even if it's something for the kids to eat, please. Huh? Didn't you hear her? Go and fix your children and yourself somewhere else and come back next weekend. Nonsense. Move this car! I'm so sorry to disappoint you, please. Doing it, haven't you? 
Shouldn't you have gone to lesson by now? We are waiting for you to take us there. Okay. Mom, hmm? you're crying. No, you know. I'm not crying, it's just I have Qatar. You're lying to me again. <laughs> Meaning I've lied before. Of course. You told my sisters that the landlord wants to renovate the house. And he threw us out. Uh, yes, that's that's why. But you know that's a lie, Mom. How can you throw only us out? It rent, isn't it? It's real. <laughs> Come here. Just don't tell your sisters, okay? I won't. If only you promise me you stop crying. <laughs> I'll stop. Don't cry again. Stop the car. Stop this car right now. Why ask me to stop the car? Because I want to take the wheels. I thought you said I'll be driving you today. Are you going to be arguing with me? Huh? Why are you suddenly ash? What's going on? I am harsh because the woman I call my wife will always argue with me instead of answering my questions. But you want me to understand that this is your car? I don't understand. What's going on? Get down. I need to take the wheels. Period. And I told you, I had to. It's obvious her husband wouldn't allow her to help me. I don't get it. Is she not your blood? Same father, same mother. Remembering all the sacrifices I made for her. Wrenches my heart the more. We lost our parents at an early stage, and I took care of Sabina. I took I care of Sabina. Story, Salome. Forget her. She's not your God. She's all I have in this world. She asked me to come back next weekend. You have me, and you have God. Okay? I will do my best. I will do everything I can. I thank God for being, making me close to you, my neighbor. Do you think I should go and see her next weekend? I don't know if you want to, but trust me, she's not a good person. Oh, 
are doing back from lessons so early? Mom, well, we asked to go back home and never return to school or let him until we pay our tuition fee. Why now? But I spoke with your school head the other day. Mom, I want to go back to school. Same here, Mom. We have a lot to cover up before the end of this term. Don't worry, your little head, son. God will provide. Is he not the father of the fatherless? Mom, where's my dad? Your dad is in heaven. Can I go and be with him? <laughs> not yet. But we'll be with him someday, okay? I'll let you go inside. Go in and change. I'll come and give you food later. Richard, why? Is that how to start an apology? Huh? I'm truly sorry. Why do you keep reminding me that everything I use in this house, you own it? Why? I never did that. Yes, you did! But what are my commands? That's what you did. Were you expecting me to ignore her? Richard, for Christ's sake, she's my sister! You heard me clearly when I said you should come back later. And all you did was just to make me feel like nonsense. I'm sorry, but such thoughts never crossed my mind. I love you, Richard. I love you, and that means everything I own belongs to you. Abidi! Really? It's what you say all the time, and you do otherwise. So let me tell you something. That your sister is a pain in the ass. And that has to stop. She said she's homeless. Has she ever come to this place without giving one complaint or the other? Huh? And what are you even doing about the plaza you promised me? I need some time. As long as your sister keeps coming here, right, she will not fulfill that promise. Look, I thought you must have gotten over this by now. I'm sorry. 
believe me, I'm truly sorry. Okay. What do you want me to do for you? Just say it and consider it done. Babe. I want to take possession of all your ATM cards. And I need to know how you spend your money daily. I mean, all your purchases. Uh, so, what are you now? My account officer? Okay, you are not making caricature of me, Abby. <laughs> no. Not at all. Okay. Fine. Consider it done. Smile for me now. Come on, smile. Baby, you know I love you so much. And I mean well for you. Mm -mm. You mean well for us. And I truly appreciate that. I love you. And hey, my food is ready. Don't refuse it. What if I send you it? What would you do? <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay, let's go. Point gets go. Okay. Come Thank you. If you don't beg me, I won't. You don't beg me, I won't. Mm. How was your day? I went in search of a job. This my lost certificate is really dealing with me. Kai, I can imagine. It's such a pity you lost your NCE certificate. And getting another one is really difficult, Abby. Just keep in faith. I just I really wish they would take statements of results. I would have fixed myself up somewhere by now. Well, like you said, just keep faith. Okay? Everything will be well. Um, I got a call from my husband. He said he'll be back by the weekend. But, you said he won't be back till December. That's what he said. I was surprised when he called and said he'll be back by, by this weekend. I don't know why. I miss my stay with you so far. Hey. No, let me get something down the streets. Just freshen up and come out of this mood, okay? Good afternoon. Um, please, uh, is my sister around? She died around though, but her husband died around too. Mm. Yes. Okay, um, please. Um, she asked me to come today, so please, could you tell her? Mm -hmm. what, is going on? Huh? what are you doing here? Good afternoon. Have I not warned you never to come to this house again? She asked me to come today. Salome, leave us alone! Take your poverty stricken self somewhere else! This is not a bank! My wife is not a money making machine! Please. 
We are homeless now. The landlord kicked me and the kids out of the house. Oh. Then go somewhere else and fix yourself. Listen to me. I don't want to ever see you in this house again. Do you understand? Get out! heaven, husband of widows, look with pity on me and help me. Where do I take these children to? Where do I go from here now that Bissy's husband is about to return? God, please help me out of this situation because I've suffered so much in this life. Help me, my God, please. Show me your mercy. Please, I have no one else to go to. My only sister has turned her back on me. Where will my help come from? Where? Did Madame Sister come here today? Are you sure? Yeah, no, but you know, this is the money. They just take the leg. They didn't possibly say this. Listen to me. That woman, she's not welcomed in this house. Do you understand? Uh, yes. If you still want to retain this, your job, make sure that she does not come close to anywhere around this house. Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. Yes, sir. My friend, go and lock that gate very well. Hey, look, look, look at this, yeah, yeah. I blame you. I I I I I no, no blame you. You just 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 did this out. They they chop my my madam food. They call call yourself or oh, oh, husband. Every time you go just the dangling words, the dangling words. A oh, woman go the dangling words. You go the dangling words. No see as the day. Oh oh, call back who call. Listen, when you're done eating, you 
take your sisters inside and pack your bags. We are leaving this place. Mom, where are we going to from here? Mom, are we going back to your apartment? No, um, we can't go back there yet. The landlord hasn't finished renovating. But we really need to leave this place. So be a mom. God will provide. Oh, this is Oh, uh, thank you. Hope you all having a good time. Eh? <laughs> we'll be leaving later today. Leaving? To where? I really don't want to inconvenience you too. No, not at all. We are fine with you. Please stay. I don't understand. Yeah. She told me everything, the issues you have with the landlord, and I feel for you. I won't call myself a Christian if I allow you and the kids to live here without a place to go to. I believe we'll be fine, sir. God will take care of us. I know. But at least for a while, until you have a place of your own. Okay? Please. Salomon, please stay. I want you and the kids to stay. Hmm? Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. 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 Madam, welcome. Oh. Sombra, how are you? Madam, fine, fine, but but they are leaving. Sombra, I am not increasing your salary, so do not broach that to me. Madam, this is equal brush. Madam, this is no issue of brush. Madam, I the brush two times every day now, just as you advised me. It's no issue of brush. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Where's Thank my you. husband? Madam, now your husband be the the main coco. -co -co. You don't come out. But, madam, sorry for, for this thing. Yeah, madam, this is your husband. You don't tire me. Ah, uh, you don't tire me. Madam, do you know that your sister come here? If you see how your, your husband beat up, he can be, he can be, he can be, he can be, he can be. He beat up, finish, he threw him outside. And after beating me, he told me say that I, I, I should not open the door for that woman. And I remember when you and the woman they talk, he tell and say, may, may, may you, you come that, that day. When did this happen? Madam, yesterday. The thing is that I, I, I forget them before, be, be, before you come out. I make them. If you throw them out, Madam, your sister, your sister. Dumber. Madam. Do you still want to retain your job in this house? Madam, of course, that is the job I'm doing. I don't get any job anywhere where else. This is the job. Good. Then obey the man of the house. Hey! Don't bro. obey the man of the house. You don't wash put for my madam. You don't wash put. See you now. This kind of nonsense life is this itself. Don't wash put. 
I'm going to obey the I go to obey. It's just no, it's not to obey. I go to obey. saw the kids playing outside. Are they not going to school? Mm. They were sent out of school because I couldn't pay their fees. Huh. That's so bad and unfair. And what have you been doing about it? What can I do? I don't have anything left to sell. I've sold everything. Now, wow. Huh. Anyways, I will help pay their school fees for them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. What's the problem? Salome, ever since we became neighbors, hmm, I have always been very much interested in you. And when you lost your husband, I became fully convinced that God wants us to be close. Yes. I don't understand. Um, what I mean is... Salome, I love you. I mean, I want to be the man of your life. I want to take care of you and your kids. I love you. Are you listening to yourself? You're my best friend's husband. Is this a joke or something? Your best friend will not find out about this. If you don't tell her, give me the chance to take care of you and the kids. I'm in love with you. I love you so much. Death. Death. If you hadn't taken my husband, would this man be here saying this rubbish to me? I love you, Salome. I'm serious. I love you. You are drunk! Just when I thought I'd found a place of solace, I should have known her husband as a womanizer. Poor Bessie. I have to tell her about it. No. She'll be so disappointed, and that means wrecking her marriage. No, I can't. But what do I do now? This man has been disturbing me and will not stop until I give in to his demands. God, why have you forsaken me? Why me? What are you doing here? Allow me to take care of you, eh? Stop being silly. You see these kids? They need to pay their school fees. And you also need to fit well. You need someone to take care of you. I don't need you. I have God. Hmm? God? Stop being delusional. We go from your stupidity. Men are the God you see now. Please, just please. If you don't leave now, I will shout and alert your wife. Please, please, I just need a piece of your face. Just a piece. Busy! Out! Please, please. I said out!
put you by that one. It's a good idea. Alright. Um, by the way, what happened last night? I overheard you shouting. Um, nothing. It was nothing. Nothing? You just decided to scream. Um, well, it was, uh, I was praying. I hope I didn't disturb you. Oh, no. It's a good thing. I mean, prayer is all you need to come out of this situation right now. And I'll also be praying that very soon you will have your child running around this place. Amen. Oh, amen. This childlessness is really giving me cause for Please. worry. Yeah? My dear, don't worry yourself about that. Your marriage is just two years young. Ah, you soon have yours. Hmm? <laughs> I want to see you now. Is anything the matter? Excuse me. What is it? I want that woman and her kids out of my house tomorrow. What do you mean, out of your house? Yes, you heard me. I want them out by tomorrow. But you can't just send them out like that, for no reason. I mean, you accepted this stay with us. Why the sudden change of mind? Okay, if you wish to know. I had a dream about her. Yes, and in that dream, she killed you. Yes. I saw her stabbed you three times in the stomach. I saw life flitted off you right before my very own eyes. No. That woman, she's evil. And I want she and her kids out of my house by tomorrow. Um, honey, I have made my decision. <laughs> Sweetheart. Mess so hurry up with your school bag, bring it. Psalm 23. Hmm? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. BC, you have to let go of your anger. I don't understand. Why would we ask you to leave simply because of a dream he had? A mad dream. Perhaps he's afraid it will come to pass. Come to pass? But you will never do such a thing, or would you? I don't think I've heard to fly since I was a child. Of course I know you well, my dear friend. I'm just displeased at my husband's decision. I wish there's a way I can change his mind. I wish I can just have things my way in this house. What's all this now? Hey, take it easy. Hmm? He's your husband. You have to obey and respect his decisions. Let me just go. 
in the interest of peace. Your marriage is too young for me to burden you with my problems. Where are you going to go with these kids? Honestly, I have no idea. Mom, I thought you said they are going somewhere nice. Yes, we are. Busy, you have to lend me some money. I promise I'll give it back to you once I can. This is, this is really unfair. No food to give us. We have to be patient. Mm. Um, we have to go and get drugs from Kev. But mom, we have no money to pay for the drugs. Go for provide. Mom, what about our auntie? She hardly visits again. She only came when dad died. I never came again. So, um, you know your auntie, she's a very busy person. Her job is time demanding. I'm sure when she has time, she'll come around. So let's go. Kitty, help your sister when she gets down. What are you doing here? 
Um, I'm your former neighbor's sister, Salome. I know who you are. My question is, what are you doing here? Okay, uh, I heard the landlord threw she and the kids away, so I came to find out where they are, so I can go search for them. You heard? So you're still alive? I thought you're dead. Because it's only a dead person who will allow his or her sister to suffer the way you're allowing Salome and her children suffer. Even if she has wronged you in this life. Why extend it to her children? Where, where is this coming from? I came here to know the whereabouts of my sister and her kids and you're saying this to me? Do you know if things have been good with me too? Do you know? How can things be smooth? For the wicked. You are allowing Salome suffer in the dangerous streets of Lagos. And she has a sister like you. Oh, you are worse than the devil. I cannot stand here and watch you insult me anymore. I see Salome asked you to insult me, right? But I won't take it. Nonsense. No, come! Let me give you her location. Rubbish. You should be ashamed of yourself, useless woman. I came to um, see you about drugs for my daughter. If you can help me with any drugs for her, sir. Headache. Mm -hmm. She's having serious headaches. I don't know if you can help me with drugs for her. Uh, I have paracetamol, I have panadol. So which one do you want? Anyone will be helpful, sir. Anyone. Uh, what of money? Um, that's why what I came to try to tell you, sir. I don't have money for now, but any help you can render, I don't mind. Madam, I don't sell credit. Hey, sir, because sir, there's no how I can be watching my child going through this kind of pain and I won't do anything. Biko. Madam, I've been showing kindness to people since morning. Is this how I will survive? I don't say okay, please. People should go. Please. Please, sir. Please, please, please save my sister's lips. Please. Who do reward you for your good for your kindness to the poor? Please. Please, uncle, please. Okay. Let me get out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So give her this one. Okay. One in the morning, okay. one in the night. Yes, sir. Then this one. This one. Rub it on her head. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you,
Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you All right. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, let's pray. In Jesus' name. God, we thank you for this food for today. We ask of you that you bless the provider and that this food will nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, mom is fasting. What is fasting? Fasting is a way of punishing the flesh by not eating so that you can concentrate on your prayer, especially when you're praying to God for mercy. Mom, can I fast with you? Not yet, my darling. But soon, you'll be able to join me in fasting. But for now, you all need food more than mommy, so eat up. Mom, you have not eaten since yesterday. Don't worry about that. Uh, all I need for you to do is to eat and get stronger, okay? I said I was busy. Too busy to take my phone call. Don't you understand the word busy? Busy people find time to call their loved ones. Especially those dear to them. So if I was dear to you, then you should have returned my calls. What are you trying to say? All I'm trying to say is that you owe me an apology. But pride won't even let you do that. Well, I only apologize when I do something wrong, not when I'm justified in my action. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you would say this. Most especially when the truth is so clear. Out. Out of your car? Get out of the car. Are you going to leave me by the roadside? Richard, what are you doing? Richard, what's wrong with you? Get out! 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 I went to my sister's former residence to ask for her whereabouts. 
But to my surprise, I met her neighbor who insulted the living daylight out of me. Insulted you? Why? Why would someone insult you? There is no kind of insult she did not rain on me today. No time. Oh, because I went to look for my sister. Eh? I didn't know that Salon Me has gone around to start telling people how wicked, foolish, untrue things about me just to make me look stupid in the presence if of everybody. I told you not to go to see her, you would think I don't want you to help your sister. But I knew all these things were going to happen. But you never listen. That's your problem. You never listen. I'm so sad. I'm so sad and heartbroken after talking to that lady. I mean, ah. Could my sister? How could she destroy my reputation in the presence of her assumed friends? Why would she do such a thing? Why? Why? Because you are too soft and soft-hearted to her. That's why. You even denied me of my beautiful morning sex because of a third girl sister. Just, please. Just come. No, I'm sorry about that. Please, no, I want to work on my phone. I need to make some phone calls, please. Can please. I make it up to you now? Hey. Stop. So listen, this is your jewelry, is not working. Yeah. The money you promised me, you've not given it to me. Yeah. <laughs> bless you for everything you've been doing for us. I wish I could do more with the little salary I earn at the end of the month. You just have to manage this place. Hmm? You've hmm? done too much already. <laughs> you've done too much already. More than a sister would even do. My darling, every penny, Every penny you spent on me and my children, God will reward you a hundredfold. Amen, my dear. Amen. I brought food and stuff for you and the kids. You bring us food. After putting a roof over our heads. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, nice to see. afternoon dear. How are you? Fine. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. brought food for us. Please thank her. Thank you, Auntie You're welcome. Okay. Okay, okay take this. Huh? Carry this. Keep it. I'm coming to her. Okay. Salome, you've not eaten for some days now. It's showing all over you. You have to be mindful of Ulcer. Huh? I'll eat, my dear. It is well. It is well. So, how is your husband? He's fine. He later felt remorse over his action. But still insisted you stayed on your own. How often do you monitor his movement and activities? 
Not very often. Why? Nothing. It's just, um... You know he's what you have for now. And, um... You need to guide and love him jealously. Trust me. Life is not easy without your husband. I understand, my dear. I do. Hmm? Salome! I've missed you. Your selfish and wicked sister was around the other day. Asking of your whereabouts that she wanted to help. Are you serious? Is she going to be all right? I pray so. Mom, it's getting bad. Why don't you go to the hospital? With which money will we go to the hospital? Huh? But it's getting worse. We can't watch her suffer like this. We have to try. I I'll try, but I don't think the doctors will listen to us. But, Mom, uh, I believe God will listen to us. Let us pray. Have you heard from the doctor or anything? Where is he? He's coming. Don't worry, your child will be fine. He'll soon be here. Madam. Um, madam, your daughter needs an urgent blood transfusion. And the one we have in our blood bank does not match our blood type. And so we need a donor or I'll direct you to a blood bank where you can get the type that will be okay for her. All the stock of donors and going to places to buy, I don't have that kind of money. Eh? Well, why don't you just use my blood? Why are you people rejecting no, no, it? I'm afraid, madam, we can't do that. From the blood test carried out on you, it appears you don't have enough blood in your system. Not to talk of donating to another. You need to fit properly to have enough blood flow in your system. And so that blood is needed urgently if your daughter must leave. Okay? All right, madam. Um, nurse, Sir. please see me in my office. Okay. Now, wait till you don't, Madam, you don't kill me. Well, let me don't kill you. What are you talking about? Madam, my girl. Yeah, no. Hey, Madam, your sister and the one that they told me any day when you close this gate and don't my job. Madam, you don't kill me. Oh, please, don't, bro. Please, it's a matter of life and death. Just call my sister for me. What don't have that she they go not turn this way, they talk now. She you don't close this gate. Bro, call my sister. Call my sister. Madam, no problem. I might be job they die now. Oh, my sister, I don't care what they do to me, just call her. Look up here. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Why did you allow her in? Madam Nana, I said I she she said I left and dead. I know even the one that open get for her. Please. I beg you with everything within me. My child is sick. I need your help. I beg you. Where have you been? Because I've been to your former residence and a neighbor you told false tales about me, insulted me. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what happened. But I'm sorry. You know I wouldn't do such a thing. Please, Sabina, my child is seriously sick. I need your assistance, Pico. You see this life? You see you? After tarnishing my reputation, you still have the face to walk into my compound. Really? Huh? You only come to me when there is trouble. Where have you been since? You've been managing. You've been doing very well without me. You never care to let me know about your whereabouts. Huh? I don't have money to give. Moreover, I've exceeded my daily transactions and it's weekend already. So there is no money. It will wait till Monday, okay? <laughs> Sabina, this is an emergency. Explain that to the doctor. By Monday, I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry for your child. Sabina. Idiots. Open the gate. Oh, Sabina. Sabina. trying to reach your wife on phone but her line is not connecting. She's not around. Um, did she go far? I think I've answered you enough. Please sir, I really need to see her. I need her help. I gave you an opportunity. But you sheepishly threw it away. Goodbye. Please, please. Wait, wait. Get her from my door. Sir, please, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't care. Anywhere you want to go to, go.
So, what are you doing? Nothing. Don't you dare lie to me. Just tell her. You were hungry. I can't complain too. But she didn't know where you went. So I took she out with me to grab her some arms. Please. How can you beg when I'm still alive? I'm your mother. And I will always provide for you. Let me be the one begging. Please. Oh, you can't be succeeded in finding any money. God will provide. See, please, let's go. Let me get you food, eh? Then we'll join your sister in the hospital. Let's go. Um, I'll get us food and then. So you mean that your annoying sister still showed up in this house again? Babe, calm down. Look, I was only telling you what happened. And I have warned that stupid gate man never to open the gate for her. You need to calm down with your anger. She's still my sister, please. I will not calm down. Not after she has tried to slander your reputation before her friends. She said her child is sick and she's at the hospital. I don't care. She's very lucky she's your sister. And also lucky self that, that I was not even at home when, when she showed up. I'll deal with that, man. No sense. Babe, you don't need to blame the gates, man. He said she told him that it's a matter of life and death. You know what, I'll go see her on Monday and pay the hospital bill at least, you know. Just go and get me my food. Why is it that she always shows up here whenever she has issues? Huh? And whenever she shows up, it's all about money, 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 money. How, how, how would you set up my plans for me when, when she keeps showing up every month? Babe, she's saying hospital means it's something very serious. She can't just be joking about it. Please, I'll try and see her by Monday, okay? Let me get you your food. Pastor, I'm very sorry for the delay. I'm truly sorry. No problems. No problems, sister Sabina. Uh, this is a check of two million pounds last summer service. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> sister Sabina. You don't know what you've just done to the house of the Lord. Sabina, for the fact that you've decided to fulfill your pledge, my God will never forsake you. Amen. My God will never abandon you. Amen. My God will never disappoint you. Amen. I, I, I speak to you by the unction of the Holy Spirit inside of me that you will never lack. Amen. Whatever you do, whatsoever you lay your hands, shall be prosperous. Amen. You're going out and you're coming in. Just like he said in Psalm 1 to 1, that he'll protect your going out and your coming in. This you have done will speak for you. Amen. This you have done will speak for you. Amen. This is my prayer for you, Sister Sabina. Yes. Um, Pastor, you know, God has really blessed me tremendously. Especially with a, a lucrative business and a good and faithful husband. But Pastor, <sighs> there's a big challenge in front of me. Pastor, I... 
I really want God to bless me with the fruit of the womb. I really need, I need it. Sister Sabina, that you seek will come soonest. Amen. The God that blessed Sarah will cause your womb to conceive. Amen. Sister Sabina, I like the fact that you've made a positive statement that God has blessed you tremendously. So shall it continue to be in your life. Amen. The God that, that caused Sarah to conceive will bless you with your own child. Amen. Sister Sabina, I prophesy unto your womb that come this time next year, mark my word, Come this time next year, you shall carry your own child. Amen. God is not a man. My God will never lie. Yes. When he say yes, no man can say no. Yes. Sister Sabina, continue giving in the vineyard of the Lord. And he will never look down on you. Amen. He will always be by your side. Amen. He will always protect you. Amen. He will always guide you. Amen. Always be with you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. Sister Sabina, today... As, I, as I've stepped my foot into your house, I cause the blessings of the Most High to dwell permanently here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister Sabina, you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. Amen. What of your husband? Oh, he went out. You see, what the Spirit is telling me, I would have loved to pray for the both of you. But prayer is a chain. It connects. So let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, bring forth your daughter before you. Father, today she has decided to bless the house of the Lord with this token. Richard, why are you doing this to us? You dumped me. You dumped yourself by pride of yourself for our baby. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? I can't believe you're talking to me this way. What have I done to deserve the manner at which you're talking to me? And treating me? Is there someone else? It's obvious you're dumb. Just get out of my table. It's obvious there's another woman. Tell me. Is she better than me? Is she better than me, babe? Tell me. Why? So you can go be with her. Baby. Why are you doing this to us? Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
away? How could you send her away without helping her? How could you? Will you stop shouting at me? Did you ask if I had any money on me when she came? You would have followed her to the hospital. Offer to help any way you can, not just send her away like that. Yes, I sent her away so she can go get help elsewhere. Since I don't have any money on me. And what is so difficult in understanding this? What I don't understand, Nduka, is how could you, knowing you're seeking a child from God, allow a poor widow who is in dire need to save a child, send her away like that? You know she's my friend. At least you would have given her my second number. Why didn't you give her yourself? And why couldn't you stay at home so she could have met you when she came? Please, stop blaming me unnecessarily. I don't like it. I'm really disappointed at you. I can't believe you can be this wicked. And yet you pride yourself a born again Christian. Heaven knows that my conscience is clear. Heaven knows. Nonsense. Let's go. To the hospital, right? Hospital what? What is the time? It's 6 p.m. Ma'am. <laughs> and you think there's the right time for you to take me to the hospital? Oh, Martins, are you planning on ending my life? No, ma. Why would I do such a thing? Okay then, drive me home. I'll go to the hospital after work tomorrow, okay? But ma, you normally close exactly this time every day from work. And you told me how serious your niece is at the hospital. How dare you? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm only suggesting you see her today. You never can tell her current situation. Will you shut up? Huh? That I requested for a personal driver from my workplace doesn't mean I will take this nonsense from a low life like you. Who are you to advise me on what to do? Who the hell are you? How dare you? I'm sorry, ma'am. Get the hell out of my car. What hasn't gotten to this yet? Ma. I said, get out! You're fired! Get out! Sorry. Get out! Ma, please, I'm sorry. Get out! Ma, please, Ma, please I'm sorry. Why are you feeling angel? Make sure the bones small. You'll be fine. So I, I, I heard the doctor said I need blood. Yes, and the blood is coming. My sister said she will come here today and offer help. Um, did you call her? I did, but um, she wasn't picking. Perhaps she's driving down, that's why. Or oh, maybe she's not. Let's be optimistic, eh? All will be well. Lord, I'm not your bad. See you after me. I, I shall, shall not, not Lord. He makes me lie down in the bed. <coughs> Come on, get it. Come on. Come on. I'm afraid, madam, she's dead. No, I can't! 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 No, I Don't do this 
I love him. It's okay. Okay? Yeah, what does the doctor want? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Talk to me. What does he want? I'm coming there! My daughter is there! Why does the doctor want to do again? to treat her dead body? Sister. Sister, just just stop crying. Stop crying, okay? Let's just go in and pay the bills so we can take our cups. Hello, Andrew. Are you serious? No, no, no. I'm not in the office. I drove out to see someone. No, it's not something serious. I can be there. I can come. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be there right away. Um, sister, I, I brought food for you and the kids. Let me quickly rush inside, pay the bills, and then I rush back to the office. I have an emergency. I'll see you after the barrier. Please, just, just stop crying. I beg you, please. Let her go! Let her go! Okay! Stop. I missed you. I only had met you at home when I came to your house for help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my sexless and stupid husband. I wish I was in love. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mommy, you can't come back. Mommy, you can't stop crying. Listen, baby. I'm so can't come back. What is this about? away from me. I said I'm sorry. I did not mean to refuse your friend help. You've proven to me that you're not a Christian. You can go feed on the baby's cups or better still, lick the woman's tears. I didn't have any money on me when she came. I explained this. Eh? Please. The man I married would have gone out of his way to help the ATM machine is not far from here. Instead, you chose to abandon the poor, helpless woman who came to you for help. And you think God will forgive you for that? I'm so sorry, my dear wife. Eh? I'm only but human, prone to make mistakes. And I regret my actions deeply. Please. Okay, okay. 
I will go see her tomorrow and commiserate with her. Please, be gone. Eh? Please, forgive me. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Like I said, stay away from me! <gasps> Meaning you've not heard my plea. Nebikon, please. Stop, Mama! Meaning you've not heard my plea. Bikon, I've missed you. Same here. What is it? You know I'm expecting to hear the two magic words. I don't have anything to say. Uh -huh. You don't have anyone or you think there is no reason to? Both of them. Oh, That's been so unfair to me. So... What's stopping you from saying thanks? Or didn't you get the alert? I did. Oh, baby, you promised me 20 million naira to start my own plaza. Eh? And the alert I got today is one chinkily 10 million. Uh -uh. Don't you want your husband to start his own kind of business? Babe, at least that is something. I deserve some credit. Time is going. I know. I know, and that is why I've been working my ass out to meet up. You know, things have not been rosy with me. You know that. I don't know anything. The only thing I know is that you are saving all your money so that you can give it to your sister and her kids. Oh, talking about my sister. She lost her child today. Sorry for her loss. But that's not the option here. We're talking about my 20 million naira. Babe, I give you 10 million. At least, I appreciate that. Let me first you. You will, you will stop crying. And here you are. Why can't you allow God to comfort us? supposed to know about this. He's still hoping Unkem will come back. How did you know she wasn't coming back? Because dad never did. He kept on lying to me that he'll come back someday. But it's been many years, mom. I now know the truth. Dead people do not come back. Okay. Mom, why doesn't Sabina hate us so much? I thought you said she's your sister.
Are you all right? Yes, I, 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 I do, I do all right. Now, now my tiny, tiny junior, I don't know that I do all right. They like to debate me in front of strangers. I want to see fine, 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 fine. Hey, we come inside. Hi. Um, is this Richard's residence? Eh? Yeah. Richard. Eh, uh, okay, listen. Uh, my yoga madam, be there. No, not madam. I'm talking of a man, Richard. Is this where he stays? Yes, they, they are the talk now. Woman, you don't come out now. The wife, they, they ask. Maybe that one will not get to work. Are you sure you know who I'm talking about? Yes. Richard, is, <coughs> is this where he stays? Nice. <laughs> What are you doing here, Vivian? Richard, I'm sorry. I don't want to ever see you in this house again. Do you understand? No, no. it. And you. Okay. I don't want to ever see her around this premises ever again. It hasn't okay. gotten to this now. Baby! Baby. Richard! Get your hands out! Richard, I'm sorry. Richard, I'm sorry. Richard. Richard. I got my. Hey! Yeah, come on, I did the job. He try it. Hey, man. Hey! Why, Dick? How can you say a thing like that? I'm really disappointed. What is wrong with what I said? Everything. How can you say it's good she lost a child? I mean, that's been wicked and monstrous. <clears throat> Baby, listen to me. Her life will be better off without that burden. See, those children, they're a huge burden to her. So the earlier death comes and takes them away, the better for her. Richard, they are still her children and they mean so much to her. I feel her pain. That's why I wanted to go see how she was doing. I mean... Just say that you want to go as usual and give her money. I'm not stopping you. Just remember that the engine of my car is bad though. I'll fix that to you now. See, the truth is this, right? I'm tired of that car, so I need a replacement. Okay. I'll see what I can do about that. But you need to give me some time. Baby, I don't understand you anymore. Huh? What happened to my ever ready helping wife? Huh? The woman I got married to that is always there to help me. What happened to her? I don't understand you, sincerely. I'm sorry now. Babe, I'm sorry. There is no problem. So there is no problem, like, yeah, there is no problem. You know, we are going to resume just a few days from, from now. 
No, no, it's no problem. Um, I will get back to you then. Okay. So do take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, Sister Salome. You know, um, this Saturday we are going to have our crusade. Understand? So it's obvious I'm looking for someone that will help, you know, in clearing the field. Understand? So I don't know. Can you do it? God's grace. It's no problem, sir. Of course I can. No, because what I want is a very neat job. So that even people that are coming for the uh, crusade, so that they can see where to sit. You understand? I'm relaxed. So you don't have any problem. When I'm done with the job, you confirm it to be neat. Okay. There is no problem. I will give you a try. So how much am I going to pay you? Um, 8,000 is okay, sir. 8,000 naira. Are you clearing the whole Lagos state? It's just ordinary if you do. See, I'm only considering this your pretty kids and you. You understand? You are a member. I can't take this job too. I swear. See, I'm going to pay you 4,000 naira. You understand? Sir, please. That field is very wide. And there's a whole lot of work to do there. If you can make it 5,000, I'll be grateful. Um, Sister Salome, you know, it's not, it's not that I can't go out there and get or hire able-bodied men that can, do, that can be able to do this. You understand? But I just want, to, want you to do it. You understand? So, um, if we are on, uh, on a deal, then you tell me. Or do you want me to go out there? No problem, sir. I'll take it. But um, can I get an advance, please? No, you even started working and you want to get an advance. I just needed to get one or two things, sir. You don't have any problem. Okay. Okay, so you have $2,000. So I have to balance you 2000 there. Please, remember. Very neat job. No problem. Please. I'm going to start now. Okay, okay. Okay, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, are you serious about this? I'm telling you, he doesn't even want to see my face again. I <laughs> thought I was winning. <laughs> you know I told you not to bet that my baby is faithful to me, but you wouldn't agree. <gasps> Babe, am I not sexy enough? He hasn't even touched me. Not to talk of taking me to his bed. <laughs> Every single thing I do pisses him off. Really? That's because he doesn't find you attractive. He's not interested in you. So everything about you irritates him. 